That one team looks so unfair. Vital Astra, Times Post, Spurn on Mia, Ninja Corrine, Pirate Hinoka, and wow, Savvy Fighter Tiki, no less. So, the good thing here of having Henry panicking Corrine is that I can force Hinoka to use Harsh Command Plus and then Triggering Trace which causes her to move here on the defense tile. If that's the case, then it's good because Mia will be all alone next turn, moving here. here we go. Oh. I will do what I can. Let us begin. Because obviously Mia cannot use Rally Defres due to this. So Corinne should attack and suicide against Faye. Harsh Command Plus. This is nice, because no follow-up is not ready. Well, there is Spurn, but again, if I am allowed to make a follow-up attack, I'm pretty sure she's dead. So let's do this and see what happens. I think we should be fine. That's it. And also now look, there is a good thing of having double panic ploy. I really don't think Inoka can survive a single hit from Henry. There is absolutely no reason for this. She is dead, I'm sure of it. One hit KO. That's it. And uh, I think despite Savvy Fighter, there's no reason for Tiki to survive Julia because even Corinne with Sheer Pulse dies. That's it. It's really dirty to do this. Armored Boots in Defense Team Arena. We have also Mikaya. Very difficult to bait and Claude impossible to bait. And why blue feud on Soren? Why? So, okay. What I really want is making sure that Mikaya is panicked. Okay, because Faye is going to take her down. So, Mikaya has to move here because of a defense style priority. First, Will be Tiki moving, Claude probably here because it's a uh, tile value priority also for flyers. Okay, that is as predicted. By the way, I didn't notice this yet. Hardy Fighter Sacred Cow. Why? This is so nasty. People do this in defense because they want you to lose. So, um, to beat Mikaya. Let's say I do this. Then Claude has to move here because of the distance. Railing Mikaya. That means Tiki cannot use Rally on Mikaya, but because of a new position of Claude right here, after Mikaya attack and suicide against Faye, then Tiki has to move here to use Rally attack res on Claude. So, I want to place Julia here because next turn she can use the Guidance and Teleport here. She has to threaten Tiki somehow and force Claude not to move. Okay. Rally as expected. Okay. So it seems because no one can avoid a hit from Claude, someone has to take a hit from Claude. Um, I believe now the best thing I have to do is this. So let me explain. It's obvious to me that when you look at the number, if Faye stays where she is, this Tiki is dead. Also, this Soren cannot survive a single hit from Faye. This is not impossible. This is not possible. So Claude has to attack because he survives. If Claude moves here and attack, then panic triggers on Claude next turn. And that is a good thing. And uh, Guidance actives on Henry so he can get the kill on Claude next turn after Faye attacks. Claude. 
player facing him. That is odd. Claude not able to double. This is what I wanted, so if I attack Claude from here, then do this. I think this is fine. One hit and I think now he's dead. Wow, that is really, really scary. Please, Faye, don't disappoint me. I think you should survive, right? And we also should survive. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That is so good. Wow, this Faye is awesome. 